So a view function or simply view in Django is a function that takes a request and returns some HTTP response. And you will need these functions in order to display uh, some information on your pages. And in this lesson, uh, I will go just for the basics of defining these functions. I will go through errors and things like that. In uh, real world projects, usually you will need class-based views and that will be the topic of a different lesson. But for now, let me just show you uh, how to define function view. So for example, I have here my administration uh, application and usually we define views in this uh, views.pi file. Uh, basically you can define it in other files, but this is kind of a convention. So it's better to, uh, to define this file. And uh, for example, if other people will be reading your code, it will be easier for them to understand uh, the structure of your project. So uh, it's better to write this views.pi file and here you can define any views that you want. Uh, so for example, let's define admin's view. Let's take request here. And let's return, for example, a very simple HTTP response with some text. So as I said, uh, this view takes request and returns HTTP response. And here you actually uh, define your HTTP response. So you can write here actually the HTTP code, HTML code. And this is very basic information that I gave you. Uh, there are, as I said, class-based views that uh, helps you to define more complex views. There are templates uh, that you can use in order to show uh, HTTP responses with, with particular HTML design. Uh, you can also connect uh, your Django with, for example, React and uh, you know display some React stuff here. But uh, for this lesson, we will just go through the basics. So uh, let's um, leave it like that. So we have here our admins view page, uh, which will return this some text. And in order to actually use it, we can, for example, define it in URLs. And I already defined it here in my URL pattern. Uh, URLs are in a this uh, core folder. So if you have the project name models databases, the URLs you should define in this URL SPI file. And here we define the path admins uh, with this admins view that we just created. And as you can see, uh, when we go to this page, we get our HTML page that we have defined. And we can also define, for example, uh, and you can see here that um, uh, in our server, someone got this admins page and it returns 200 status, which means uh, that it was uh, accessed successfully. Uh, we can, for example, um, do some redirection here. So we can, for example, redirect to, I don't know, Google, for example. It should be like that in order to actually, yeah. So this is one thing. Uh, we already discussed uh, this redirection to particular pages of the application in the previous lessons for URLs dispatcher lesson. And one thing, one more thing that we can do is we can return 
404 response saying that this page was not found and we again received this uh, simple HTML uh, information with simple text but here in our server we can see that we uh, actually got 404 error here and we can also even specify the status here equals 403 for example and now if we access this page here we can see here that <clears throat> we got 403 response status uh, there are other ways to raise http 404 uh, error for example we can import this HTTP 404 and we can actually raise it here and we have a little bit different uh, error here if page not found like the default uh, default 404 page and we can also see that here we receive this 404 response. And uh, you can see here, this uh, this is kind of the default design for 404 pages, but we can actually redefine it. So we can define some other view, 404 uh, text, for example, it's 404 something like that and let's return simple HTTP response uh, page was not found and in our URLs py file we can actually redefine this default 404 page to our new 404 page which will return just simple HTTP response and we do it by specifying handler 404 and specifying the path to this uh, view file demonstration views error 404 and if you uh, try yes we need to also take here also exception and here uh, it will not work right now and we still have here our default page because we actually need to redefine our settings debug to false and after that we can actually access this custom uh, 404 page and you can redefine handlers for other errors too not only 404 and you do it the same way as we have done it uh, here and one more thing that i want to show you is that we can make uh, our views as asynchronous and uh, this is how we do it and the more lessons there, there will be more lessons about asynchronous support in django and the usage of asynchronous uh, views in django but for this lesson i just wanted to show you that it's possible